Kim Hosserud with Liquid Architecture. I am here with the National Honey Board. Hi, Margaret Lombard. I'm with the National Honey Board. So we're doing, um, we've done a lot of experimentation with different honey varietals. So we have a Honey Orange Crush Spritzer, which is kind of a riff on an Aperol Spritzer. Uh, Prosecco, Aperol, Fresh Lemon, and Orange Blossom Honey. So uh, Aperol Spritzer is wildly popular right now, but it can be kind of a little polarizing, so this really balances it out, the honey does. Um, we also have a Honey Coconut Colada. Um, hate to say healthy cocktails, but they're healthier cocktails. Uh, we're using all natural clover honey with aged rum, coconut water, and coconut milk with a grilled pineapple chunk. You know, it's really great working with honey because it is so incredibly versatile. I mean, I can use it in a kid's drink. We did some really fun, like, Little Bear, you know, tea lemonade drinks. Um, and using different varietals, I can use it with different spirits. I could use it both as a flavor element and as a sweetener to um, accent different notes in cocktails. So it's a really fun ingredient to use. You can find it anywhere, and you can also make a regional tie-in with different varietals. Hi, I'm Heather Jones. I'm here on behalf of the National Honey Board, and tonight we're making the Honey Jar Corn Cake. So we have a savory corn cake topped with seeded honey, a little homemade farmer's cheese, preserved orange, and topped with a little orange olive oil. <laughs> My name is Cammie, um, and I'm here with the National Honey Board. And today we are making a smoking jar, it's a smoking honey jar. And what I did is I sliced scallops really thin and then topped it with a little bit of grilled nectarines, some pickled onion, a little bit of spiralized beet, and then very last, lastly we put some honey bourbon on it. So what it is is it's bourbon and honey and then it also has orange juice. So that's what's actually cooking the scallop a little bit. And then a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, some sea salt, and then I took harissa uh, and I coated Rice Krispies with it. And then we de uh, dehydrated them for about four hours, and that goes over the top for a crunch. And then just to finish it, we add some smoke. So it's applewood smoke that goes in, and we put the top on really quick, so then when you open it, there's smoke that comes out.